make a pun on everyone and welcome to a um, I don't even know what to call this this is um, literally spur of the moment video but uh, it's just a discussion video I guess and showcase video um, looks like it's okay 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 yeah yeah okay yeah because this is a, a screen capture and I put my face up there in the corner you know just like any of my my let's plays so I hope everything is uh, like my, my voice is coming out um, I have a little you know background ambient music just for um, just to keep it interesting I guess not too boring to listen to I guess right uh, okay uh, I guess I want to take a moment to talk about streaming and then you know look through these three uh, uh, streaming sites and actually there's another one hold, hold on okay there we go Netflix all right uh, just my two cents on streaming <clears throat> and you know I guess streaming versus uh, physical media uh, I will always be for the physical media um, even though I do stream a lot and, and that is you know out of convenience but I, I just I feel like the, the physical media should not uh, just disappear you know what I mean uh, I think that the, the streaming stuff is, is good to uh, you know to uh, um, to complement your physical you know your physical media your physical films uh, should work in conjunction with it I guess uh, th there are things that you get with the physical you know discs blu-ray or DVD that you don't get with uh, uh, streaming. Now, I, I've noticed sometimes they, well, for some films, they're starting to implement this, but uh, you get uh, some special features and bonus features. I, I don't think you get commentary, though, you know, and you don't even get all of the special features, especially with Scream Factory. You know, you have a lot of that stuff put up by, you know, Red Shirt, um, Full Moon, you know, you have, you know, the video zones, uh, even though. Uh, you're able to. Uh, they, they have. A, I, I don't want to say a lot, but they have. They have some of the video zone stuff uh, here on. I think it's Tubi. Uh, but I think um, you know not everything. So if you if you want the video zone for a specific film, let's say Doctor Mordred, for example, uh, or Dolls, you know you're going to have to have the you know the, the discs for it the other thing is um, lately they've been uh, putting ads you know inject injecting them uh, you know at the beginning and just throughout the film more than once like at least three four times you know and <clears throat> you know that can uh, be annoying you know a lot of times uh, y you know you don't get ads of course with your physical media so you don't have to have that disruption and you can be fully immersed in the film and um, uh, but the, also the quality and the sound is better you know on, on physical media um, and and yeah so that's that's what I want to wanted to say and especially now because they're putting ads now and uh, you know especially the free ones like Tubi you know those have always had ads but uh, it, it's if, if you want if you want the service without ads you have to pay more money you know and there are some folks that don't like to do that because it's at least you know five or so dollars uh, more you know sometimes maybe seven dollars more I think I think it's like 
for one service, isn't it like seven ninety nine with ads, and then fourteen ninety nine without the ads, you know, something like that, and it's just going to go up and up. So that is another, uh, you know, negative to the streaming. Okay. So with that being said, how long have I been talking? Okay. Let's just kind of look through this and um, see what movies I can recommend. Wait. Now, I wonder with these Godzilla movies here, because I know on uh, this one, they're all pretty much the, you know, original Japanese. And not English dub. Uh, which is what I'm more familiar with. Let's take uh, Godzilla vs. Hid Hidora, you know, which I know it under um, Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. And as you can see, I don't want to get flagged, but you see? Now, what if I go over here? Do we have Godzilla versus? I think this one is the uh, the Criterion version. Uh, these Criterion version, and I think there's a um, which are out of print now, but there were uh, I don't know if they were Mill Creek or what, but uh, before Criterion got the rights to the uh, the Japanese Godzilla films, um, you can get the bunch of these like Godzilla, Godzilla versus Gigan and you know Godzilla versus uh, Hidora uh, and they included the English dub hmm okay destroy all monsters this looks like it's the Criterion version but let's just see Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is two B, so I don't know. Well, let's let's go ahead. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So it is uh, in Japanese. This is in Japanese. But some of these ones that are not part of the uh, Criterion collection, I wonder. I wonder if there's an option for that. Gamera, I was also a fan of the Gamera as well. Of this, this is good, you know, to see at least, you know, say if you don't have Max, uh, you know, you can see the Godzilla's here. Get okay, a third man. This was a good one. I've seen this a couple times. Yeah. H.G. Wells. So film noir. Uh, and um, <clears throat> it's out of print on Criterion. I wish I had that one. Turbo Kid is also very good. You know, I'm just randomly going through everything. I've seen Set It Off. This one is okay. Patron is also okay. Has, you know, some good, uh, um, you know, fight choreography and some battles and one-on-one and, -on -one and, you know, with Mel Gibson fighting like one to like a group of enemies. Payback. I think this one has Chris Christopherson. I've seen this one in the theater. That one's okay too. Birds of Prey I had fun with. That one 
to see if I can go to uh, any like horror stuff. And I've seen some of these, and I'm, like I'm just kind of going through them. Like Memento, for example. I just don't want to, you know, mention every single thing I've seen. Otherwise, you know, we'll be here forever. Cradle to the Grave was not that good. Okay, the long kiss goodnight. Uh, this one was uh, a fun one, I thought. Achille and the Bee is also good. Oh, uh, this one is a D and D session thing, I believe. And I, I think Deborah Ann Wool is in one of these, one of the the segments. <clears throat> the cheapest creepers were good. Martyrs, this is the original Martyrs, so I recommend this. Uh, just be prepared, it's, it's kind of intense and kind of sick, so just be prepared for that. The remake was, um, I'll say that even though I enjoyed it, maybe for people that are true fans of, um, what do you call them, purists, uh, may not like it, but I mean, I, I think I think it actually was still not bad for a remake. House of the Devil is a Thai West film. The other one that goes along with this one is um, <clears throat> The Innkeepers. But this one here, uh, I don't know if it's her first role, but maybe in, I know for sure, a very early role of Greta Gerwig, you know, the director of um, Barbie and Little Women. Inside, yeah, I think this is the remake, but I'm not... Oh, yeah, the, no, this is the original one. This is a sick one. And then I saw the remake of that one, too, and that one was, again, also not so bad. But, you know, if you want more of the horrific side of things, you want to go for, you know, the French-Canadian version of these things, like of Inside and Martyrs. But if you want more of a satisfying ending, then you go watch the uh, Americanized version. Uh, Splinter, I've seen this one too. This is the same film where it's almost like a zombie kind of film, but not really. I think these um, Splinter things go inside of you and, and they possess you and you become like a, a monster. Not exactly a zombie. I've seen this one before in May. Uh, it's just trying to put together a friend using... Uh, uh, parts, different parts, almost like a Frankenstein, like a modern day Frankenstein kind of film to put together a best friend. The Hatchet films are also fun. Feast was good and I've seen, I think I've seen both sequels. I, I know I've seen the, the sequel to it. This is a remake of Fog, but it's not nearly as good as the original one. I, I really enjoyed the original one. Adrian Barbeau and uh, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis and um, um, Tom Atkins. Hmm. Fear.com. I've seen this one a long time ago as well. I should check this out again. A day Gone. Okay. This one's a um, you know, Lovecraftian film, you know. They, they worship the, the demon of the deep, a creature of the deep. Um, this is the one where uh, the girlfriend, the hot girlfriend, I might add, or was it the wife, but um, was abducted. It happens at a certain point in the film, and she is dangling in their, their temple uh, above this kind of well-like thing with her hands chained and hang there absolutely naked and a creature comes up Dagon and uh, takes a bite out of her and brings her down you know the husband or maybe it was boyfriend could not get to her in time sadly uh, leaving only her arms dangling on the chains and absolutely naked she was but uh, it was such a waste one missed call is this the okay this is a uh, I don't know if this is Japanese or Thai. I mean, some of these are Thai too. So, but whatever the the, the Asian version of One Miss Call. I have not seen that, but I've seen the remake with Shannon Sossaman, and that was uh, I liked it. 
The ginger snap films were good. The breed is this uh, the one with Michelle Rodriguez? I think if this is the one, um, I thought this was like a werewolf film, but it was not. They were like these mutated uh, dogs. Or I think they were experimented on or something. Wolves or something, but not werewolves. What else do we have? Beyond the Reanimator, yeah, all three of those Reanimator films were good. You know, Bride of the Reanimator and the original one. And this one was, uh, was this like in some prison, right? You can see the bars over there. Yeah, okay, this is a third Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps back reuniting uh, Catherine Isabel and uh, Emily Perkins. Uh, but it's meant to be a prequel, you know, the, uh, the start of the Curse of the Fitzgerald Sisters. A Mother of Tears, uh, part of the uh, uh, the Three Mothers trilogy, you know, it's Hesperia and um, uh, Inferno, right? And then Mother of Tears, it's an Argento um, film. I have this on DVD. I think there's a, a Blu-ray with, with all three of them. Tamara with uh, Jenna Dewan. Uh, she's super hot then and now. Uh, she comes back as a... Is it a... Not a succubus. Uh, that's um, Jennifer's body. Uh, this one, she's like a, a, a witch. And she casted some spell, not expecting it to work. Uh, and she has to die. And she did die, you know, due to a prank by some... Uh, a bunch of other, um, you know, teens that were enemies of her and uh, accidentally killed her in this hotel and then uh, that sparked the, 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 the curse for her to come back as this undead witch or something or maybe it was a succubus, I'm not sure, but she had, uh, maybe a succubus I guess, she has a power to uh, persuade you and, and um, uh, what do you call that, um, you know, just to, to control you like a killgrave kind of power, you know, the purple man the power of influence okay so these are all uh, forget me not I've seen this one was not so great Night of the Demons remake was a fun one you know with uh, what is her name Shannon Shannon something Shannon Elizabeth okay Linnea Quigley like a little cameo of course it doesn't touch you know the original Night of the Demons. Um, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here on uh, on Prime. Okay, the Xena series are great. Uh, yeah, these are like some D and D and D games that you can watch. Um, of, you know, people from like Critical Role and uh, you know. Um, what is his name? Uh, oh, oh, Matthew Lillard. Uh, <clears throat> the Lost World. Uh, another fun series. And Hercules, of course. The Fallout series, if you've not seen, is quite good. Okay, this is just Civil War. I remember this series, Beyond Belief, hosted by Jonathan Frakes, you know, which is uh, Commander Riker, uh, the Sam Neill Merlin. I've seen this one. I had fun with this one, actually. Uh, Rudger Hauer is also in it. Uh, Nimue, it follows, uh, it's more of a, a Merlin story and his love, uh, Nimue. I've not seen this one, but I'm interested in it. Defenders of the Earth, I remember this one from back in the day. And, uh, mid 80s the Beastmaster series I, I enjoyed as well I've not seen this one though so I should maybe check that out it's also Sam Neill so I guess it's a sequel to it you know, 2006 what 2009 so I don't know what's going on here but so I guess this is the first and the other one is a sequel 
don't know. Okay, Tarot. Okay, have an interest in this. I actually seen this one, Boy Kills World, uh, with that that guy, who was Pennywise, right? It. Uh, he's a um, a Skarsgård, right? Is it Alexander Skarsgård? Oh yeah, and we have Famke Jensen in here. And I think you also have the Asian guy from uh, um, The Warrior. Uh, this was actually fun. Oh, you know, we have the girl also who was in uh, Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day 2. And this, this was fun. I enjoyed this one here. This King Kong, X Godzilla, Frozen Empire scene. That was okay too. That was fun. I started watching the first Omen, but I have to finish that. Mm, Power Rangers. You know, I never really watched this back in the day, but, you know, I, I put it on just to hear that intro, and it kind of brought a tear to my eye. So now I, I may just kind of watch it just for nostalgia. And since much of them I haven't seen, um, it would at least still take me back. Okay, Zero Dark Thirty. I have the steelbook of this one. Um, I've, I've seen it a long time ago now, but... Okay, so I guess let's go check out... Max. Yeah, Godzilla versus Hidorah. Like I said, I, I know it under versus a smog monster. Which it's an enemy that Godzilla faces that, you know, to me, I, I think it's his hardest opponent, even harder than uh, Monster Zero or Ghidorah. Um, it manages to take out Godzilla's eye. Um, it's, it's acidic. It's this kind of oil thing it spits out is acidic. And... Um, I think there are a couple moments where you think it's dead, and Godzilla thinks it's dead, but it springs to life. You also see Godzilla fly in this one. Godzilla 2000, I remember this. I've seen much of these Godzilla ones. Destroy All Monsters, and with Son of Godzilla, uh, Angulus, uh, uh, the Spe Spiegler, that spider, you know, Mothra, uh, Gorosaurus, trying to remember all of them uh, Gorosaurus and Angulus is this Baron or something this is Gorosaurus Angulus son of Godzilla Rodan yeah and this guy, this guy's like this android that they put together, but it develops its own, you know, AI. Okay, let's kind of get out of just the Godzilla stuff and kind of look and see what we have. I, I really don't want to make this too long, so I apologize for that. Now, you see, when you look at this... I know a lot of folks, uh, and you know, even though it's not my thing to see these, um, there are just some things I find surprising that is under there, like Harley Quinn. Even though I've only, I haven't really seen anything beyond the first season, and I don't even think I finished all of that. But I think they they make um, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn lesbian. I have no problem with that. That's nice. Uh, here, you know, and people complain because they make Velma black. Um, I, you know, I, I, I still watch some of it, and, and people are calling this woke and everything, and maybe it is, but uh, I still think it's okay. And I, I do like that they swear in this, and it's more of an R-rated kind of show. I've only seen the first episode of this, but I, I'm going to get back to this. You know, from what I've seen in the first episode, I enjoyed it. Um... And then Batwoman, uh, it went from Ruby Rose to, I forgot the other girl's name, but, you know, got Kit Kane, but her, I forgot her name. But both of them happen to be lesbian. Again, you know, it's, it's fine that they have these, you know, just, 
I guess it's like a representation for the people who are, you know, gay and lesbian, and, and, and that is great. You know, everyone is, is free to be what they want to be. Um, my whole thing is I just don't like it uh, when it's being showcased too much and um, like it's being pushed onto us, you know. I know you can say that, well, it's not nothing is being pushed, but when, when they're really... Uh, you know, uh, showing it, you know, even putting putting it into things that are, you, you know, you wouldn't expect it in, like, say, a Toy Story thing or, well, just take a look at, uh, uh, you know, the Harley Quinn thing, you know, which I said I'd, I have no problem with it because, you know, I think most dudes don't have any problem with seeing some girl-on-girl -girl action with, you know, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, right? Um, but just the fact that it's in there, you know, they inject it into things that you don't think would have it, you wouldn't expect it, because you know the franchise to not have any of that. A good example of this is I was watching um, just earlier today, actually. Uh, I started it yesterday, though, and uh, you know I finished it with my brother today. I've seen it you know, a few times now. But Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Batman versus TMNT. And you know, as we're watching it, you know, my brother said, you know, see, this is how they should make these DC stuff. You know, just, these cartoons should just be like this. There's no woke agenda. It's just fun. You know, you don't have to have any of that kind of stuff. You know, Batman versus TMNT. Watch that, and it's just like the classic animated stuff. You know that that you remember from the '90s. You know, with Batman the animated series, uh, and it kept all this stuff that's going on, you know, they kept it out of it. So that that's all, you know, that's what I feel. And go ahead and watch, you know, Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's so good. It's very, very good. Extremely good. And it's animated very well. Of course, that was pre-COVID, I believe, right? Of course it was. Tom and Jerry's, I, I love those, and I know that they have, um, you know, a, a bunch of these, you know, racist, politically incorrect cartoons. But you know, it's it's as um, Whoopi Goldberg says, you know, she still has fun with that, you know, especially with like Looney Tunes as well, uh, and to just delete them completely and never show them is like saying they don't exist at all, like they never existed at all, which would be worse. And, you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, you know, it, it's fun. They make fun of all kinds of races, you know, mostly minority races, you know, blacks, Asians, you know, stuff like that. But um, it, it's still fun. Let's let's take a look at Pat Morita, you know, uh, the hip nip, as he calls himself, or, or he was dubbed that. And, and he took it and ran with it and, and uh, turned it into a positive, the hip nip, you know, Pat Morita. Um, telling all kinds of jokes and, and even making fun of himself and, and his own race. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but now it's like we've become too sensitive. This is a pretty boy I, I dislike. It's uh, Timothy Charlemagne. I don't like him. Uh, we have Mad Max Fury Road, which is a fun one. Okay, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, and The Last of Us series is also fun. But these, you know, new DC stuff is not animated very well. The Outsider, uh, my good friend Mike is uh, really recommending this, and I, I never get far. You know, I think I've only seen the first episode, but and I should finish it. Okay, Godzilla minus one. I heard uh, good things, and they said uh, they actually made Godzilla scary again. Uh, you know, I saw this. It was okay. It, it, it was okay. Um, Sometimes, you know, Jennifer Lopez can be a little annoying sometimes, you know, talking too much or trying too much to be funny, trying too hard, and um, I, I don't like it when, when they do that. I just like things when it just flows naturally and um, for the most part, you know. Uh, but overall, I, th I still thought this was, this was okay. You have Conan the Destroyer, but, you know, the Barbarian is not on here, but I still enjoyed it. Conan the Destroyer. Bimbata, do something. 
thieves should be hanged. Conan, there's six of them, and only one of her. One, two, three. I think you might be right. Um, another film, uh, and I forgot how he's seen it, but it's Death Race 2000. It actually might have been on uh, Tubi. Death Race 2000, you know, with Frankenstein um, and um, Machine Gun Joe, you know, played by played by um, uh, David Carradine, and, uh, and uh, I think he was an unknown at that time, but um, Sylvester Stallone, and we also have Martin Cove, at least I think he's he's there. Uh, Paul Bartel has a little role in there. Uh, Mary Warnock, when she actually looked really good. A lot of nudity in that film. Um, and it's a good film, very politically incorrect. Uh, the remake was also also fun, but they they got rid of the the um, the angle that that made the first one uh, unique. Where you know, it's running over people for points, and depending on your gender, your age, uh, you get you know you get a certain amount of points for it. Um, is winning all you care about? Yes, it is the only standard of excellence left. So I I love it. Death Race two thousand. Uh, do check it out, and I missed my chance to get that on on Blu-ray. You know, the Roger Corman film put out by Shout, and now it's fetching collectors' prizes. Is winning all you care about? Yes, it is the only standard of excellence left. I love it. Supernatural is a good series. Upgrade is, is kind of has a uh, a cyberpunk kind of uh, edge to it, and this is a fun one. Uh, alien or uh, Resident Alien, I can recommend. And I wonder if this is still part. Yes, okay, Madam Web. Get, for, get up. for a short while, Madam Web was number one, and I'm still glad to see it's up here. Do support get this off, film. Get off. It's it's fun. Okay, it's 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 of course not a, a serious movie, and and as I said before, uh, and still feel the same way. You know, the the girls she saves uh, can get a little bit annoying. You know, when when they're talking a bit too much quite a bit too much um, but other than that it's it's still a fun one and I think it was a different format and a different structure for a superhero film where they're not all powerful and it's not like they're not really equally matched you know because uh, she you know Madam Webb you know Dakota Johnson is just getting used to her abilities and the other you know future spider women really don't have any powers you know they have to just rely on wit ingenuity and uh, uh, planning planning ahead things like that it, it really is a cat and mouse superhero film with the cat having an unfair advantage you know that kind of thing the devil made it, me do it this one was actually fun too you know I, I do like all the conjurings uh, the nun was really great I thought that had almost like an RPG Diablo um, party based you know uh, role-playing game uh, format to it you know you have your priest your would-be nun and you have Frenchie you know who's who's good at ranged so it's it's a three-party uh, uh, group you know so I enjoy that um, the nun 2 is not that great and by the way the, the nun 2 it stars whoever that actress was who played Susan in the Narnia films uh, the Witcher, you know, I, I enjoyed the series still, and I think it was called Blood Origin, the prequel. Too bad everyone ripped on that because it was actually very good, I thought, you know, with, um, and Cobra Kai is also good, but, uh, you know, with um, Michelle Yao being in that one, uh, that dwarf, that female dwarf in there uh, with her hammer, I thought she was great. The fighting in there is excellent. I'm not looking forward to seeing um, Liam Hemsworth take over the role. I don't like that guy. Thunder Force was okay, but I think... I did not okay. know... Whoa, okay. I think I'm done. Oh, this is leaving soon? I did not know what was going on. I was watching the show. Wait, oh, Judge Reinhold. I was watching the okay. show having fun. Okay. All right. Anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and, you know, thanks for just kind of, uh, you know, checking it out and kind of, uh, you know, going on this ride with me. And, um, see you. And... I will say no more.
I've met, okay, I'll, I'll say one more thing. The, the wayward realm. Okay, that's it. The wayward realm. Okay.